what is the GOAT network all about? You may think of the GOAT network as, let's call it the two big phases. I'm going to talk today about phase one, but our vision is to be an L2 for all L1. That's very short to remember. It's a universal L2 for all the L1s, which actually solve some of the problems of fragmentation, interoperability, and so on. One of the things that actually interests me in this project the most when I was working on is that being, being a professor at the University of Toronto for many, many years and running the blockchain part of it, I was always feeling economics didn't play a big role while technology play a huge role. And I'm, my understanding is always technology and economics get to play together because we are in financial markets. And what I think this project is going to be very, very different from the other zillions L2s because I think what's going to happen, we're going to have L2s every, every, every day. For the next one year, you're going to hear L2, 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 L2. And the user will be thinking and say, what's differentiate this L2 from the others? And rather than driving you through the slides and going one after the other, after the other, after the other, I want to make you guys remember that the purpose of this L2 is to be secure and to deliver sustainable yield for everyone. Sustainable yield, not short-term yield, not running to show some airdrops and wow, that's fantastic and you lose all your money. It means security and sustainable yield. Usually they don't come together. Why? Because the cost of security is high and if the cost of security is high, what remains to the user is nothing. You may show that you have a lot of money in the beginning, but it cannot sustain it for a long time. And this is what this industry was suffering with for many, many years. This industry suffered from the height of short-term win, long-term losses. And again, let's start again from scratch, from scratch. I'm in this project. We started this project. It's almost like a combination of something two years ago and what we're doing right now. It's the purpose is to be sustainable. It means if you want to really think of one word that you go with home and start Googling us, is about the sustainability of the yield something reasonable, but sustainable. But of course, in the beginning, maybe some kind of like hype, but at the end, this is the aim of this project. And I'm gonna hopefully convince you, hopefully convince you, because you usually need more rounds to convince people, but I will hopefully convince you that to come up with a secure system, it's too expensive to sustain without economic design. And the majority of the L2s will actually cannot be able to be sustainable for a long time, and that makes the cost higher. Revenue is what it is. Revenue minus cost is actually what you distribute to the users and to the VCs, and actually that's the problem we're trying to solve. It means I actually hold from going through the slide just so that I want anybody who want to just run away, at least they, they, come up, they, they know what we're going to be talking about. Okay. Well, who we are, simply, we're a project out of the great city of Toronto. And if you have never visited, you're welcome. It's a, it's a project supported by the Metis Foundation. It's the same team that developed Metis and Ethereum. Some of them actually comes with me and others to develop this GOAT network. Oh, it's here. We have some supporters since day one. And I think some of them are already listed here. And our purpose, and I think we have some of the team, which is Mario is here. If anybody want to talk about the growth strategy or anything, can talk to Mario, because I know nothing about the growth strategy. I'm not good at it, and I'm not going to be able to answer you as deeply as Mario can do. It means our team, you can think about it as three divisions. And that's going to be important later. I will explain it to you guys. This is going to be an economic team, a scientist team, and a growth strategy team. We have, a, we have not, these are not the only people we have in the team, but these are some of the faces that actually can, you have a trade-off and always a life, how to make the picture a little bit bigger so that you look handsome, and uh, at the same time, put in a lot of them. And I think that's a trade-off that we win. We make Mario the most handsome one in the crypto, and he's here, and then you can talk to him about the growth strategy after. This is, <laughs> this is the project in a nutshell. If you want to have one page to remember, you basically, if you have one page, this is the page to remember. And what is this all about? This part here is the tech. If I was athletic, this part here is the economics, and the part on the top is the growth strategy. 
how do we differentiate itself in this? What are we really doing? We have a ZKM team, which is the division of our business that develops ZK rollups. If you really, if you're really not technical, you know what? If you're really not technical and you don't want to bother yourself, think of this is what derives security. You want it to be speaking to the L1. This is L2. This is L1. We are a center of excellence in delivering ZK rollup. Well, I can say it, or I can also prove it by showing you how we fare against some of the leading center of ZK rollup out there. Simply take two companies, Risk Zero, SP1. Two of them are the leading places researching for developing ZK MIP. We are better in terms of security, and we are in but we, we lose in terms of speed. We lose in terms of cost, but we gain in terms of speed. It means we're not winning an all angle, it's a trade-off. If you win speed, you lose a little bit on cost. If you lose on cost, you lose a little bit on security. But what's the takeaway? The takeaway is we are one of the center of excellence in developing rollups. I can just stop here. I can just say, look, let's stop here. And I can tell you, look, what about we sell this one? What about the business model become? We're trying to develop a very secure silica rollup to sell it to people. But that's not our business plan. Our business plan is to say, this is will not be enough. In order to develop an economy on the top, you need an economy that is actually sustainable. And this is what I claim we have a big differentiator. We are different, but comparable to some of the leading institutions when it comes to ZK rollup, but we are unique when it comes to, what is, how do we do this? When it comes to economics. This is, this is, I think this is going to be new for many people that comes to crypto work because no project that I know of, at least in my limited amount of time, I don't read everything, but whatever I have managed to read for the last, let's say since 2015 that I'm in the business, whatever I managed to read as a researcher, I have not seen projects that focus mainly on 50 technology, 50 economy. I've seen 95 technology, 5% on economics at the end. That's my honest opinion about the industry. What we try to bring in you is that we say simply like this, like anybody here understand revenue minus cost equal profit. What is the cost of security? The cost of security is going to be too expensive for many to sustain it because it requires many players. I just show you for the sake of argument, when you're going to have an L2, just for people to start having an idea, even if you're not technical, you don't know much about the topic, just imagine now is not Alice sending to Bob. <laughs> it's many, many players that needs to be exist, sorry, that exist in order to make this transaction happen. And what are the players? You need publishers, you need executors, you need sequencers, you need provers. All these players need to exist in order to deliver a security that is inherent in Bitcoin. Well, how do I do? Uh, I ask you to be a prover today. I pay you. No, you don't want to be a prover? Challenger? No, you don't want? I, I, no, I'm not, I'm not bringing anybody here. Just generally, you ask people to be, to, be, to be doing a job, and either you open it to everybody, and that becomes a decentralized way, and then people say, well, wait a second. I'm not getting paid enough to challenge. Well, I need to find somebody who challenges. Because what I'm trying to tell you generally will be, that you have many stakeholders that need to be paid to do the job. And that's the costly way of doing it. That's the mistake of doing it in my humble view. And this is what we've been working on for many, many years now, is that you need a system that is designed to create incentive across all the players to be doing the job because they think they're gonna be a sequencer next time and they get paid. Not bore you with the details of it, our expertise comes into design and economics, which is the second layer, that is actually robust enough to be sustainable. It means really what I'm talking to you about is the cost. If you say I'm going to deliver a security in this framework that inherit Bitcoin security, I'm going to tell you we have two things that we're actually very, very unique at. One is we have a ZKP that is compared with the best, but it's too costly. 
you need an economic design to make this is operational and implementation. There are around 100 L2 today on the market. Either they are centralized, either they're not even coming with the security yet. And what we think we can win, which again, there is always a randomness in these things, we're trying to win the game of cheaper cost of security without jeopardizing the security. Means we hope to be an L2 or an L1.99999, basically better a little bit than an L2. Means again, in a nutshell, I know it's a lot of noise and hopefully you guys can hear me. You can think of us as phase one, a Bitcoin layer two, that is different in the way they design the roll-ups, and that is different in the way they design their economy. Two words. How? It's a lot of details. You can look at the beige paper. It's an economic paper, especially to show you how do you do the economy part. You want to know the roll-up? There is a whole se series of papers that discuss why we are good at what we are doing in terms of ZKP. But whatever I was telling you right now is the cost being cheaper and good and sustainable and fantastic. But where the revenue come from? <laughs> if you have no fees, you have no revenue. Because at the end is revenue minus cost is equal to what you make. I only spend time to tell you we're very good at managing the cost without letting go the security. But I have not told you yet at all. Well, do you, but that's going to be the same for everybody else. We have to have a growth strategy, which uh, this is too much detail. And the growth strategy is, we, we already did this before. It's not like it's our and, and our, and and the previous project is still alive. At some point, it was a number three in Ethereum. It's a Mitis project, it's still alive. We know how to operate decentralized sequencers. We know how to operate growth because we have done the growth strategy in Mitis in the past. It means this is not new to us to talk to new apps, to incentivize, to make sure. But we're doing something different we didn't do in the past. In fact, two or three, but today, because of the time, I only have one minute left. I think I'm only going to be speaking on one thing in the growth strategy is that we define something we call proof of activeness. It means if all of you are my users, I'm going to define a score for you and you and you and you. Everybody who become a user start having a score of how active they are in the network. And I want to make it rewarding for everybody anywhere they go in the network to be paid for what they do. And that's just think about it as a mileage plus if you fly United. But don't think of GOAT as being United. OK, it's crap. Think of GOAT as being the Singapore Airline or, or the Emirates Airline or something like that, just to be clear. But too bad I'm a mileage plus for years and I have to stick to my star lines. But anyway, in a nutshell, a solid security empowered by our specialized ZKM division, which is our division in the GOAT, a unique economic structure, and a growth strategy that we actually not learning from scratch as a starting team. We have already a successful thing in the past that we're trying actually to, to build on. Uh, this is the flywheel. Skip all this. Skip all this. Zero sec. Test net is coming this week. Main net is Q4. And, uh, and basically, we will, the token generation will be in January 2025. I thank you for your attention. I really appreciate that you guys reach out to us for questions. Check our website, GOAT, that have the white papers of GOAT, ZKM also. Check the white papers of the security. Don't trust me. Verify. If it's too good to be true, it may not be true. Please verify whatever I told you. Make sure to validate it. Send us their comments, suggestions. We're a team that are both researchers, growth, and economists. We would like to have any suggestion from the public. And thank you very much for, for listening to us. Appreciate it.